The year 2020 was one that will stick with many for a while, long time too. First News reporter Chandler Blackman has the latest on the positive takeaways from the challenging year. When I mean, if you survive 2020, you, man, I'm thinking you're going to have an amazing 21, but that's just me being optimistic. As we embrace day one of the year 2021, we look back at a year that presented many challenges, changes, and emotion from the tragedy of the late Kobe Bryant. Oh, to protests against racial injustices. No justice, no peace, no racist, police. And of course, an unforeseen COVID-19 pandemic. That at the rate we're going, this is not sustainable. It's just been a transitional year. Uh, it's been a challenging year for a lot of people. Mark T. Jackson is the lead pastor of the Light Church in Youngstown. You may recognize him because this year, he and members of the Light did their part giving gas, groceries, and spreading love to the people of Youngstown. Being a, a one-year-old church, it was a challenge, but many people said they appreciated the fact that, you know, we stepped in to help them in time of need. Although this year came with its share of challenges, Jackson insists there were also some positives. It gave you a lot of time to really consider who you are, what are some goals that you're trying to do. Uh, entrepreneurs had to push it up a notch. And I believe even though we were separated, this was the year that we were probably the most united. In some ways, life in 2020 was the same, but in many others, it was so much different. But as we begin a new year, it's important to have a positive outlook on what we hope to come. I'm a pastor, so I gotta. I believe that. I believe that God is still in control, and He'll heal our land. I, I believe it's going to be a good year. Chandler Blockman, WKBN 27 First News.